Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Monkers Gaming Channel once more. We are playing Fire Emblem Three Houses again. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this episode. I mean, we're literally just going to be hopping into a mission, and uh, yeah, we this should be it. Shoot, we're fighting Death Knight, right? <sighs> Finding justice for Geralt, as the description of the mission said. I hope you guys are really enjoying this series. I am enjoying playing it. Um, it's one of my favorite series. The music is great. The art direction is great. The story direction is great. You have fun, lovable characters. <sighs> it is just a wonderful series. So, if you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the madness that is Fire Emblem Three Houses. There will be surprises around every corner, but we will be ready for them and awaiting them. Let's go. We have no clue what kind of trap is waiting. We can't afford to lose you. Okay. The enemy is strong. And then I just simply nod. I'm so emotionless. If this is how I am expecting it, which it should be because I've played this, you know, like half a dozen times. Um... Shoot, it, it should be a cakewalk. <laughs> At least I think. Um, it should be fun though. This is one of my favorite missions. And then also, I mean, for a multitude of reasons, there's a lot that happens this mission. Let's just see. What do we have on the map? Oh, I forgot. We do start with demonic beasts. Interesting. Okay. See, Shamir is unavailable. Okay. That's why I thought. I was like, hmm. Like, I couldn't teach her. I couldn't do anything like that. So I was like, I'm pretty sure she's just AFK, you know. But I didn't know for sure. Now we know. Now we have confirmation. Alright, and let's go. It is showtime. I absolutely love this battle for a lot of reasons. This might just get me killed, but if it doesn't, it's going to be worth it 100%. It might get me killed though, but again, it could be worth it. Dude, last episode was so good. Everyone was hitting their crits. Everyone, you know, everyone just did really, really, really well. It's like, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but like, everyone was just doing everything correctly. Like, everything just unfolded correctly, everything just happened correctly. It's like, everything that I needed just happened. It all just came together. Oh, look at that 69%. That 89% with a whoa dow, bro. She's a demon, a straight demon. Yeah, I'm already loving this playthrough. I know we're only like halfway through it, or I guess not even halfway through it. But like, there's just like all these builds that I've done. And that's that's like the beauty of this game is that you can build anything you want, right? But like, it's like, it's so good. All of it is so good. Let's go tall grass. I thought she was going to hit a crit, a 4% crit. I, I would have been, you know, applauding. Like, whew. She was able to do that. See, I, it's like, every time I use Anna, she's like the most mid-unit ever. It's like, you don't really get anything, like, purely exciting from playing Anna. Um, that's the thing that I've always noticed. It's like, yeah, you can do some cool stuff, like hit a crit like 20 times in a row, but it's not like, it doesn't hit the same as, you know, Petra. It's just different. Ooh, a speed ring. Interesting. Definitely gonna use that. It just doesn't hit the same. It's a little bit different. Let's get this over with. See, like, when Linhart hits the crit, like, shoot, Anna could have a 50% crit, 50% plus crit. When Linhart hits the crit, though, it kind of feels different. There's something different about this one. Oh, 
Not. We need to hire this dude. He hit a 20% or 20% hit. We need to hire him. He is doing something. He can hit his shots. He had a 20% chance of hitting that. I was about to say, if this dude, dude, at this point, we're not fighting a war, bro. Just recruit them. Just knock them out. Metal Gear Solid 5 style. You know, put them in the, uh, the little balloon. Send them up. Nah, we need to recruit them. If they're hitting shots like that, if that's what they're hitting, shoot, we need them in our army. I know Linhart is cool, but I heard there's, you know, I heard there's a spot open. Also, there was no reason for that, Ferdinand. He just wanted to deflect. There is no reason for that cool cat. Dang, everyone's trying to flex today. Everyone's trying to flex. Bernadetta was flexing, Ingrid was flexing, Petra always flexes. Shoot, I, w I was flexing. Like, dang. Everyone's just out here today. Everyone's in their zone. That's how it was last time though, bro. It was like everyone was like shining. Yeah, we're getting to the point where it's like if I don't crit, I can't one shot them. We're getting to that point. And that point isn't necessarily a bad point, it's just it means I have to be more cautious. Because in scarier battles, bro, I'd be getting one shot. I'd be getting one shot all day. That's the outcome though, that's what's gonna happen. It's going to happen and I'm ready for it bro that's what like I play Fire Emblem for dude like you know creaming through the competition maybe I shouldn't have used the word creaming but you know going through the competition doing all this whatever just flatlining everyone it's cool and all but shoot when I have actual competition it's like Goku bro it's like you don't want anything like less than, well, less than, uh, I don't know, less than good, less than whatever you want to put there. You, you don't want anything that isn't enjoyable. You want something worthwhile, something you can remember. You want a challenge. You know what I mean? You don't want something boring. You want something fun and exhilarating. That's what you want. Yeah, we win these every single day though. We win these every single day. Bro. Plus I have a gambit that can hit. I have an insta kill option, I forgot. I have an insta kill option. I'm not gonna use it now because I think I need it later, but I forgot I had an insta kill option. I feel like any option at this point with Edelgard is just the best option ever like Edelgard I know it's going to be unstoppable this route huh? what? I am. Prepare yourself for death while you stay. This is gonna hurt. oh my goodness 20 hit rate and it would have done one damage death say hi to the um Underworld or something like that something cool. What would Edelgard say? I must get stronger something like that. Yeah. 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 She's not at her full potential And then we have a cool cutscene By the way for all your smash fans, this is the cutscene that leads into Byleth um, Stripping the sky of its contents making a, a smash symbol and flying out of it. This is the canonical lore. This is also the best video game cutscene that I've ever seen. I'm gonna show in full this time because everyone back then, you know, I could have recorded all of it, but I didn't because, you know, I was doing my little clip thing, my little clip series and whatever. Um, yeah, we start out with this, like, sad. I feel like Kanya could have been more useful on my team. 
Like, shoot. I have not played Three Hopes, so I don't know if Krania is relevant in that story. That's why I'm saying. Imagine if she was available as a unit. Dude, actually, if they made DLC for this game, even this late, they could still do it. They can just pull a Mario Kart deal, uh, 8 Deluxe. But if they made DLC where it's like, you play as the bad guys, that would be low-key lit. That would be really lit. Like, make, maybe you can even get, like, some weapons. Not some overpowered weapons, like Chalice, Chalice of Beginnings. Sorry, I don't know why that. <laughs> or any of the sacred... I'll help you. I'll help. I'll help. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, I'm thicker. But, um, yeah, maybe you get, like, some weapons. Like, maybe in, like, I don't know. Some some weapons. Be gone with you, Felstar. I must have been asleep, but even then, I do not know how. You know, this game is honestly really sad. If you paid attention to the Sothis storyline at all, or whatever, and Sothis is represented as your best bud, it's like, dude. First, you lose your father, then you're gonna lose Sothis. Ah. <sighs> What else are you going to lose? You're going to lose the battle that happens pretty soon. You're going to lose five years of time getting to know everyone. <sighs> You're going to lose your sense of peace and serenity fighting in a war. You're, unless you're a, a god, which technically I'm about to turn into one. But unless you're a god and really good at the game, you're about to lose units. Like, shoot, you lose so much, and I, I know the whole thing's based off of war, but like, dude. When I say disappear, I do not mean that my soul will join with yours. And you and also, I need like a mod pack that replaces Sothis with Morgana. I think it would be really cute and touching and filling. Or like, like a, a mod pack in general that just replaces, um, because I know Makoto, M Makoto from... Isn't Makoto like Rhea or something? Like Makoto from Persona 5? I forgot. Makoto is like someone in Persona 5 for English voice acting. And also Seth is just Dio, Japanese uh, voice acting. It's like, bro, I need to, I need to do some, some interesting Fire Emblem Three Houses content. Not that this isn't interesting. It's really fun. Messing with Dorothea and having broken units and just breaking the game over and over and over and over and over and over and over and, over and talking about the game is really fun and interesting. But dude, I know everyone will freak out if literally Soth is his head next time you saw her was just SpongeBob SquarePants or something like that. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do? Again, one of the best video cut game cutscenes I've ever seen. It's a uh, the music is there, the aesthetic is there, art direction is there. It gave me chills the first time I saw it. It still gives me chills. This gives me like a, a similar vibe, if not an even more impressive vibe than uh, when Goku went Super Saiyan for the first time. Like it's like, dude. Then she flies out there and joins Smash Brothers. Which honestly, I saw this and I was like, I don't get all the hate, I'm gonna be honest. I saw it and like everyone was just standing hate and I was like, what the hell? I did see this though and I was like, why is her hair like that shade of green? I guess it could be, you can argue it's a mix between what her blue hair was and what her, you know, Sothis's green hair was. Which I don't really think that's how it mixes, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know. This mission is really fun. I like it. It's short, it's simple, there's a nice ass, you know, cutscene. And look at this. I'm gonna hit everything, not gonna miss anything. 
I'm still trying to figure out what Huber gets at A rank or B plus rank for Faith. I'm trying to figure out what his full list is because I don't have his full list, I don't think so. But it has to be something better than Heal and Recover, right? He can't just get like, oh, Heal, Recover, and Nosferatu. He can't just get something like boring. Like it has to be something good. Like, tell me he gets, like, ore or something, bro. If he gets ore, bro, I'll flip my shit right now. Like, tell me he gets ore, bro. I ain't even capping. If he gets ore, bro, that might just be game. Because he would literally be one of the best, if not the best, um, magic user in the game. Here he has, what is it, dark? Is it dark spikes? Yeah, dark spikes. That's pretty much all you need. That that move is amazing. He has Miyasama, which is really good. Um, he has Meyer B and Banshee. Banshee is really, really good. You know, inflicting like movement stuff is really good, but then it also like dark magic for the defense, you know? Like shoot. You might not have warp, but like you don't always need warp. Plus, the units I get warp are typically like happy has like a good ass list anyway. So, warp it's like warp is just a final touch. Warp Seraphim really good. I'm actually hoping that you know what I'm hoping Cuber gets warp. If he gets warp, that's actually really really good. That would be really strong of him if he or not warp um aura. I don't I know for a fact he doesn't get warp though. I know for a fact because I think only like four characters have warp. I don't think he's one of them. It would be crazy if he was though. Now you know your limits. Dude, I am so in love with Edelgard. It is crazy. Like Edelgard does so much and brings so much to the table. She has everything stacked and lined up and ready for her. Not only is she super bulky defensively, you know, she just, and, and on top of that, she she's a speed demon, you know, she could probably beat Petra. Um, not only all of that, she literally has the Aegis shield. So, you know, even if someone does any damage to her at all, you're still going to wipe them out because no damage is going to be done to you at all. Edelgard is just like, this Edelgard is just a perfect unit. I know I've made some pretty bad units in the past where I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But this one I know for a fact is just a demon. That's all they are. I know they're going to wipe through the competition clean. It's not going to be hard at all for them. For Lady I'm extremely curious what his next thing is. What his next, um, faith is. Ingrid, what? Missing twice the 50%? What? We can't be doing that now. Really, it's like that? Dang, that might have cost you the game if it wasn't for Ferdinand over here with his Gambit. Dude, imagine Gambits could crit. If Gambits could crit, bro, the game would be over. There would be no chance. I mean, to be fair, eh, I could see it in a world where... Because it would be an engaged situation where it's like... Yeah, the triangle strategy is really good, but then in, in the break, you know, the break mechanic is really good, but then you realize opponents could do it to you. I don't know, that would, you would have to test a lot of things with that one, but I think it would ultimately be really good. I think it would be a really good change if um, Gambits could crit. It would obviously mean that you're units are just impossibly strong but like if opponents can do it to you that's pretty good in my opinion in my humble opinion that's pretty good 
Much needed. Oh my goodness, I love having an insta kill option. Just look at this, man. Like, I know. Oh my goodness. This is just brutal. I'm so sorry, old man. So this is how it is. You stole the words from my mouth. You lost the moment you failed to kill me. Won't hold back. I love having an insta kill option. And now it's even better because I have Ashes and Dust, arguably one of the best gambits in the game. And I am allowed to kill anyone that I want at range. That's just how it works. That's how it works. That's, that's literally how it works. It's over. Oh, who could it be but Edelgard? Of course it is Edelgard. Edelgard is like our shining people. I bet at the end of all of this, at the end of the playthrough, bro. It's just gonna be Edelgard, 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 Edelgard. Oh my goodness, I forgot how cute I get. I look so cute. I look much cuter. Don't deny it. All right, which camp are you guys though? Blue haired uh, Byleth or, you know, this kind of chalk, chalk, teal, um, I don't know. <laughs> This color, green, Byleth, which side are you on? What would I do? And I faint at one of the most important questions. Oh, I've actually never seen this. Well, I guess I have because I've played both female and I always remember this picture as the male picture though I forgot what it looks like when you're playing female route which I think I to be honest I think I've played male Byleth more than female it's still a sad month bro I'm sad that he's gone I know you guys are too I'm not crying you guys are it's gonna be even sadder in the second semester bro you guys have no idea. Also, look at my Byleth now. I'm so colorful. I'm neon. Just imagine. I I think I'm jumping further too. Just 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 imagine it. You know, probably not. But look, it's like I'm floating. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Okay, Dio. You don't tell me what my duty is anymore. I am the goddess. You think. You think I don't know about the danger? Steal your mind for the ceremony and Again, Sedith, Dio, I'm not gonna listen to any of this. I'm not gonna take any of this. I am the danger, Sedith. And on that note, being the danger that I am. Oh, what's up, Hilda? We're gonna give you flowers. I know this is gonna be a hard path for you. Oh, um, <laughs> with that, with all of that being said, oh my goodness, I look so cute and dashing. I am the enlightened one. That will be the conclusion of this video. We are going to have some fun in the next video. I have green hair everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun. I'm definitely gonna need to do some grinding. That way I can get everyone to level 30. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I'm gonna get everyone that I think I can, but I don't think it's gonna happen in time for you know if you know you know but um yeah this was a very fun episode very important to the plot these next few episodes are just gonna be whoa whoa it's gonna be back and forth action back and forth story you're gonna learn a lot you know if you don't already know that knights are back i'm presuming so there's gonna be goodness everywhere um yeah we're just in it for the long run you know but at this point, shoot, we have to be committed. Like, look at these stats. We are fully committed. And then there's Flane. Flane's still at level 11. I'm so sorry, Flane. You didn't deserve this path, but I'm sorry you chose the wrong side. But yeah, um, that will be the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next one. And hey, you know, maybe if this, this series accelerates... In time, we will be able to do 
the Blue Lions run, my first ever run. I think that's gonna be my next path. I honestly think it is. Um, I mean, typically, you know, I, I'm always thinking about my next move and I think that's honestly my next path. So if you're excited for the future of this playthrough and the next playthrough and everything I have in store for Fire Emblem content, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe any amount of, you know, support helps the channel it helps my growth it helps shoot i guess my pockets my revenue you know um but seriously anything helps even if it is a quick comment hey i liked your video it really helps and again stay tuned i will see you guys in the next one peace